He was drafted into the military to fight in the Vietnam War and ended up serving in the largest division in the Army. George Engebretson was in the military for nearly 19 months and experienced it all during his time. KCAU 9's Jason Toktasian tells us the stories of this Army vet in this week's Veterans Voices. We landed there and the, the heat and the odors that rushed in were just phenomenal. Something we were not prepared for that. George Engebretson was 20 years old when he began his service in Vietnam. I was in the infantry and out of that half a million, maybe 10%, I think that's the ratio, say 50,000 out of 500,000 were actually infantry out in the field. He was assigned to the 1st Air Cavalry, the biggest army division in Vietnam. So if there was a company two miles away from us that was into heavy contact, which is, you know, a firefight going on, they could send helicopters out to pick us up and transport us to the fight. And danger was around every corner. You might be having just the finest day in the world and all of a sudden there's a huge explosion right next to you. Engelbretson recalls the first time he got injured during combat. He spotted some enemy troops moving our way and we were able to throw a hasty ambush together and when we uh, opened up on them, I don't know, something blew up right in front of me and hit me in the chest here with a piece of shrapnel. And it, that was quite interesting because I, I saw the piece, you know, I, it felt like somebody hit me in the chest with a hammer. But it was a second injury that put an end to his service in Vietnam. And we got into a, a kind of a bad firefight. I think we had killed a couple of uh, NVA. And shortly after that, a couple more kind of came out of the uh, hiding or whatever. And we kind of walked into an ambush. And uh, during the ambush, I got a piece of shrapnel hit me in the back of the neck here. Engelbretson says he wasn't met with protesters when he returned home. He says his only regret was having to leave his unit. For me, it wasn't bad at all. There were no protesters or anything. Of course, coming through in the uh, through the hospitalization part, we never went into regular airports. I was flown home on Air Force jet. The only bad part was leaving my buddies behind because. The brotherhood that you develop in the combat situation is like no other. For Veterans Voices, Jason Taktajian, KCAU 9 News.